There are incredible discoveries to be made out there. And the only way you'll find out is by doing experiments. And I always loved biology, but I never would have imagined that I would have be a professor. It's easy to be a good teacher, but to be an excellent teacher, you really have to have that passion to be in front of both graduate students and undergraduate students and help them carve out their own careers. My lab works on trying to understand how a single cell, which is the egg, the fertilized egg, becomes a complex organism. So sea urchins belong to a group called the echinoderms. Echinoderms are one of the closest groups to the group that humans belong to, the chordates. So by studying sea urchins, we actually can learn a great deal about human development. We think of ourselves as an integrative biology department. We try to understand biology at all levels. And the idea is that we can all learn from one another. And this is especially important now with climate change and the environmental impacts on organisms. If you look at discoveries that have been made in the last 100 years, in the last 10 years, insights from basic mechanisms led to the development of new drugs, you know, treatments for diseases, simply by understanding how things work in nature. This is really the promise of basic research. I was recruited to the University of Miami about 16 years ago. And I was brought here to develop a program in cancer disparities. I started this process of trying to understand how cancer disparity was represented throughout the Miami metropolitan area. I identified an area with an excess incidence of cervical cancer. Turns out that the area I identified was Little Haiti, which is the largest enclave of Haitian settlements in the United States. I felt super compelled to try to figure out why that disparity existed, and more importantly, what we could do about it. And so my work is actually grounded in something called community-based participatory research, where we work collaboratively with community leaders. We want to ensure that the questions that we're asking resonate with their lived experience that ultimately would lead to better prevention, detection, treatment. Who better to help us understand something as complex as health equity than people whose lives are characterized by inequity? At Sylvester, and I think across the institution as a whole, we are really committing to this idea that we want to be a locally relevant institution. And we want to work collaboratively with community partners throughout Miami-Dade County and South Florida to ensure that collectively we advance health and social change. I think at the heart of it, research is about discovery and thinking about how we come together as scholars and scientists and students with different perspectives to be bright lights, to generate new knowledge, to be the change, particularly in health, because the potential is limitless. <laughs>